Hi folks, this is a short presentation on preparing digital images for the evaluation nights that we have at the Arrow Rangers Photographic Society. Now the same rules that we talk about here will also apply to some external uh, competitions as well such as the, uh, the, the Victorian Interclubs competitions uh, and some of the uh, local and national competitions as well. So the, the information is relevant for, for uh, other organisations uh, as well. Uh, and this is for Lightroom, Photoshop and other software packages. So the information is pretty much the same across the different packages. Let's just have a quick look at the requirements. Uh, there are four main things to think about here. The maximum size is 1920 wide by 1080 high. Now that's the maximum size. They're the maximum dimensions that you can have. You can have dimensions that are smaller than that depending on how much you've cropped around the image and all those sorts of things. Um, if you've got an image, for instance, that's a square image, that's a one-to-one -one ratio, then it would be the maximum size in that case would be 1080 by 1080. If you had a panorama, uh, the maximum size might be 1920 by 760 or something along those lines. So whatever the size your image is, it has to fit in that um, dimension restriction of 1920 by 1080. And the software package will, will look after that for you. Uh, the second point there is the maximum file size needs to be no more than 5 megabytes. And if you're following the dimensions that we just talked about, then it would be very rare that you would ever get past five megabytes. But if you've uh, done something to your image and you've exported it and, you, and then you look at it and you find it's 10 or 15 megabytes, then you've done something wrong in the terms of the dimensions. So the maximum file size should be no more than five megabytes. The color space is sRGB and it needs to be submitted in a JPEG format. Now, there's a few things that we need to talk about in terms of naming the file when you're entering your file into the uh, um, evaluation nights. You need to have the title, the section entered, and your name. So we have four categories here for the evaluation nights. We have the color digital, the monochrome digital, the color print, and the monochrome print. So we're really only looking at, in this presentation, just the color digital and the monochrome digital because that's for the digital files that we're saving our images. So for instance, um, uh, uh, an image such as uh, Craig's Hut uh, might be um, a color digital image and there's my name there. And that's the format it would be in. So you have spaces between the, the title and the name, but you don't have any spaces between the category. So you've just got dashes there. So that's the setup that we want to formalize for our images. So let's put that down and bring up uh, Lightroom as our first example here. Here is an image that uh, I have been working on in the develop module and uh, there's several ways of uh, getting to that image to export it. The first way would be simply to go to File and Export. The second way would be to use the keyboard shortcut there, uh, which is uh, Shift, Command or Control uh, E, and that will get you to it. And then if you're in the Library module, so you've changed over to the library module there, then you'll find down the bottom there, there is the um, export button there. So those three ways in Lightroom will get you to the, uh, the uh, export dialog window. So let's click on that window and have a look at the first category there, which says export location. So we're sending it to a particular folder. Now I have, in my situation, on the desktop, I have an exports folder and all of my exports for the club evaluations or for if I'm uploading to uh, Facebook or one of those other uh, social sites or something like that or sending to somebody, uh, all my images out of uh, Lightroom will go to an exports folder and that's just that folder there. Uh, and then of course you can put it into a subfolder if you want to, if you want to call it YRPS competition or whatever the case might be, you can create a subfolder as well. In the second category you've got naming, uh, file naming uh, and so here is a drop down box 
So for instance, if you haven't got anything set up specifically for the club as yet, you can uh, have, say, a custom name and you might set that up there and then you might put in Craig's, uh, Craig's Hut and dash color digital CD and my name. And that would be enough there. And then you can see where it, it, it uh, says it shows you what it's going to reproduce it as. And it's got a .jpg at the bottom of it. The next section is making sure that it is going to a JPEG. We don't want any of those others. It has to be a JPEG. We want the best quality that it can be. And the color space we said was an sRGB in this case. And because you've got a dimensions restriction here of 1920 by 1080, you don't actually need to limit the file size, but you could, if you wanted to, limit the file size to um, 5 megabytes or 5,000 kilobytes. In the next section, you've got resize to fit. We want width and height. The width is 1920 and the height is 1080. That's the maximum file size we talked about before. Uh, and so ignore all these others. You can use all those other things for various other tasks, but not for the club valuations. Uh, the resolution you don't have to worry about. With that, I've got 300 there, but you could put one or a thousand. It doesn't really matter because it's not relevant in terms of um, uh, exporting a digital image. So don't worry about putting any figure there for resolution. And then output sharpening is sometimes a good idea to do, depending on how much sharpening you've done on the actual image itself. So you're sharpening for the screen, which is that, which is what we want there, and it can be low standard or high. Uh, sometimes if you've done the best amount of sharpening that you, you want to do on your image and uh, you don't want any more sharpening added to it, sometimes it's best to uncheck this box but it just depends on, on, on how much sharpening you've done uh, when, you've, when you've been working on the image in the develop module as to whether you want to sharpen this for screen or not. Uh, the other three categories or the other three sections down there we don't need to worry about. And uh, once you've set up all that, then it's just simply a matter of pressing the export button down the bottom there and that will go to whatever folder you've nominated. So then once you've done that, you can actually save that particular uh, setting uh, under here and I've got one for the uh, color digital color print uh, mono digital mono print and you can edit and save those I won't go into that now um, but it's certainly something that automates the process for next time Okay, so I've opened up this uh, panorama image in Photoshop and we're going to export it. So we're going to go to File, Export. Now it says there Quick Export as JPEG. Don't use that option uh, because you won't be able to have any control over what you want to um, export. You're better to use Export As. So we're going to press that and then the file will load in. And it's just taking a second, there we are. And over on the right hand side, we've got format um, and we've got it set to JPEG. There are other options there, but we want JPEG. We want the quality as 100%. And then the image size, we're going to simply put, as this is a long image, so the width of the image, we want as 1920. And if you have a look, when I tab down to the height, it will automatically, automatically change it to the um, right size of pixels so it, it um, sets it up exactly what you want there and you'll see it in the canvas size as well and you'll also see that we've got convert to sRGB and that's about all we need to worry about. Now if you look on the left hand side of the screen you'll notice that the um, dimensions are listed there it's got the JPEG and it actually shows the file size as well. So we're going to go down to export, a dialog will, box will come up and we'll call this uh, lighthouse for want of a better term, um, a dash, it's a colour digital in this case, a dash and then my name at the end. 
and it shows it's going to go into the exports folder. Now obviously this will look different if you're on a Windows uh, machine but it's the same sort of format just save it to the desktop or whatever file you want to and click save and out it goes and that's all you need to worry about with Photoshop. Okay, so a few people are using Affinity Photo within the club and of course there are some other software pack packages out there as well. And so let's just go through for Affinity and the same sort of thing will apply to some of these other packages as well. It's a very similar format to what we've already seen. So we've got our panorama uh, loaded in here and we're going to go up to File, Export, and click that and the dialog box comes down and you've got a range of different sorts of formats that you can uh, save in there and we've got JPEG and then the existing file size is there uh, but we want to put it in 1920 and then when I tab over to the width it will automatically change it again to suit this particular uh, panorama size photo. So 1920 by 857 uh, is the biggest file size that we can have in this case. We want it as a JPEG with the best quality and we've got uh, the quality also at 100% there and that's about all we need to do. It gives you the estimated file size down there and then we click export. And so there's, uh, uh, it's asking us there where we want to put the file. And so we can change the name of it and uh, change the name of it. Dash, it's a color digital, dash, and there's my name. And that's all that needs to be. You click save and out it goes. Okay, so let's now just summarize once more before we finish. Our requirements are the maximum size of the image should be 1920 by 1080. That's the maximum size. The maximum file size needs to be 5 megabytes. The color space, sRGB and JPEG format. The four main categories that we have here are color digital, monochrome digital, color print and monochrome print. Now what we've been talking about today is CD and MD because we're exporting uh, files out in the digital format. However, if the uh, competition steward asked you to provide JPEGs for color prints and monochrome prints for presentation in some other format, then you would use the same sort of system of export that we've uh, done here today and then it's about a matter of keeping the format as the title uh, the section entered and the name so i hope that's been of some help and some interest if you've got any questions just let us know we're only too happy to uh, to give you a hand there thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon